On now at the Comox Valley Art Gallery is an exhibition titled Stone Paper Spirit, the Haida Hands of April White and Daryl White. Sister and brother members of the Yagi Janus and Yagi Lanus Raven Clan are from Powell River and Haida Gwaii. April White's work consists mainly of acrylic paintings, watercolor paintings, and her form line screen prints, while Daryl's work consists of argillite carvings and wood carvings. April White stands out as a highly productive, mainly self-taught, energetic and dynamic artist who's been practicing full-time since the early 1980s. If you were to visit her home in Powell River, BC, you would understand that her art and life are one. And she works in many different media. She makes paintings, prints, collages and carvings. And she even makes her own cedar bark paper on which to screen print her art. Her gallery and studio, Wind Spirit, displays the richness of her creativity. This exhibition presents artwork that spans three decades of her art practice, and throughout her entire career, she has produced watercolors and acrylic paintings inspired by Haida Gwaii, her ancestral home. About 20 years ago, she began screen printing, sometimes incorporating watercolor painting into representational imagery. Screen printing is now a significant part of her practice and her fine art form line prints can be found in collections around the world. Daryl White has been carving for just over a decade, also mainly self-taught, and in that time, his argillite carvings have gained the attention of gallerists, curators, collectors and authors from this province as well as collectors from all over North America and the world. His sculpture work is precise, complex and methodically planned, honed by many previous years of expertise as a metal fabricator. Here in the Community Gallery is an exhibition titled It Began With Fire by Campbell River potter Ellen Statz. Let's meet Ellen and find out a little bit more about her artwork. I like to do raku mostly because it's shiny and pretty and I like the immediate rewards I get from the fast firing. Although there is a lot leading up to that process when it comes to the firing, I never know what I'm going to get mm -hmm. and it can be quite exciting. I started leaning towards um, using the pattern and textures in leaves. I've always been a touchy-feely person and I just love the, um, the texture that the leaves impart onto the bare clay. So I've sort of run with that and when I'm working, I don't tend to uh, predetermine what I'm going to make. I'll often roll out a big slab and look at it and go, well, I think I'll try to make it this big and start cutting and assembling and stretching and mm -hmm. just sort of going with the flow. West Coast Wonder is an exhibition in the George Sawchuck Gallery that features the artwork of the 5 to 12 year olds from the Boys and Girls Club of Central Vancouver Island. What do you think about having the show here? I think it's great. The kids were really excited. I didn't tell them that we were doing it until they got their canvases in front of them. So like, what? You mean we're doing what? So they got really excited and I find that they really take pride in their things that they do, especially so when they know that other people are going to see it because that's every kid's dream, right? They, they like the attention and they like, they like knowing that somebody else is going to be able to appreciate what they did. So what made you decide to do a painting of a, a killer whale? I don't know. I like dolphins, but I don't know how to draw or paint them. The whale was the closest thing. And I'm really happy about it. I never thought it, I would be coming this far. It was just kind of by surprise too. Stone Paper Spirit, It Began With Fire, and West Coast Wonder are on exhibit at the Comox Valley Art Gallery until August the 3rd. For more information about the exhibits, tours, educations, and activities, visit us on the website. From the Comox Valley Art Gallery for Shaw TV, I'm Ann Lee.